exactly. All right, let's use this. Are you ready? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of thought being a vault hunter would involve a lot Get your more ass to the front of the ship. Doing stuff, but this is cool too, I guess. Is this what you do for fun, loiter? Glad to have so many badasses on our side. Have you, given we, uh, head, have you given the heads up about um, what we learned about? No, I haven't said anything about that yet. I'm going to wait until we travel. All right, I'm in. Oop. Okay, this might get weird, you guys. Hold on tight. So I'll, I'll drop the gun to explain. Final world, here we come. Holy crap. Well. Necrotophea. So this is the Iridian homeworld. After all this time. Well. <laughs> Since waiting around. Get down there, Vault Hunter. Find Typhon de Leon. Dude, come down here and go. Ah, uh, I've got a problem. <laughs> Jump. I, I am jumping. <laughs> I have to crouch under her. Jump, jump down here. Look. Come right against the glass. Full view. Damn. So, real quick, something that we learned. So, uh, for those that have been watching our playthrough, one of the biggest things we've been trying to get our head around, we quickly go to Moxie's bar, is what does Triple Heart drop out of the as out of uh, her slot machine? Because they rate it higher than a legendary, which that's the part that's been um, doing our nutting, basically. Of well, what's higher than a legendary? Found out there is no rarity higher than legendary. Yesterday, Helgrim pulled triple heart. Like off as uh, like off stream, he pulled triple heart and got a drop. And then we did a bit of more googling into it since now some more information came to light about it all. The heart is not a rarity. It's a type of weapon. Well, it, it's a, 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 anywhere between a rare, epic, and legendary weapon, but it's got an infection. Yeah, so if you pull out your sniper. So, this bit you see on the front, like this alien thing on the front of the gun, that's what Triple Heart is. It's, it gives guns that. Now, this sniper he's holding is a legendary. Um, and obviously this alien part of it makes it work a little bit differently compared to normal. Um, well, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's all the triple heart represents is you'll get a gun with this on the front basically. Um, and if, like this, like say you can get legendary versions as you can see here. But if alien guns are anything to go by from previous, uh, like I'm calling them alien because, well if you look at the front of it, call it iridium, call it alien, whatever, call it whatever you want. But if these type of guns or anything to go off from previous Borderlands games, um, obviously we need to find a lot more of them, see how they all work. I mean, I don't even know if you've used that sniper yet properly. But if there's anything to go off from previous Borderlands games, um, a generic legendary is better. Normally. But the fact of these coming legendary tier now, they could change the entire game. We don't know. We'll see. Um, some of them have really weird effects as well. Like, one guy online was saying he got a legendary alien weapon. Um, and it made it so he did minus 80% weapon damage. No, there's no rainbow tier. The highest tier of rarity in Borderlands 3 is legendary. That is the highest tier, is legendary rare. That heart thing just puts an, a it's an alien effect on the gun, basically. But it's not, it doesn't have its own rarity, so the best thing we can do is just kind of describe it as its own type of weapon, of like an alien type weapon. Um, but that's all it does. So the best rarity in the game is legendary. If you get a legendary, you've got the best rarity in the game. I don't doubt for a second, though, that, um,. They'll add more rarities with future DLCs. Or they'll keep it simple and keep the rarities as they are and keep it as simplistic as possible. But do stuff where they'll bring a new type, if you know what I mean. Like, so we have the alien legendary, if you know what I mean. Like, so we'll yeah. get a new type of weapons with the DLCs, but keep the rarity as 
strictly legendary, epic, and all that to keep it simple. Um, well, I can see him going whole... both routes. I can see him adding a whole new rarity, but at the same time keeping it simple so people just simply know, hey, I got a legendary cyborg weapon. I'm good, you know what I mean? Quite overwhelming. First Pandora was a vault the entire time. Now we've located the Iridian homeworld. You're about to meet Typhon de Leon in the flesh. If you'll excuse me, I must take a Game has gone G? What do you mean? Has... Oh, from as uh, from as uh, gains gone from great to mechanical. What? Mediocre. Mediocre. What? Oh, why is it going mediocre for you? <laughs> Fucking scaling ain't working. I'm not being funny though, they can show it off in Borderlands 2. They're here to bring it into this one if you get me. And the ones like the alien crap at the front should be its own functional stuff. It doesn't really have its own thing, if that way. Yeah, what you're trying to say is they've done it in other games so they can do it in this one. Um, and stuff like the alien, as uh, alien guns, feel like it should be own rarity, not just like a functional thing of like an alien re legendary type thing, is what you're saying. They've like, tried. I, the only reason I can see the it. way they've done it now is they want to keep it as slim, simple, as simplistic, and it, it's it's not. It's like maybe going off the saying of "less is more." They've tried doing it. This is a different spin. Of you've still got the five types of rarity. Bear in mind, in Borderlands Two, we had pretty much exactly what we've got now in base game: common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. The only difference being. Instead of Alien being its own tier of rarity, it's now on multiple weapons. It's got more of a variety on different weapons. And what what it does, it gives bonus effects. Um, but yeah, quickly, when you say the scaling ain't working, like, are you playing like true Vault Hunter mode, Mayhem mode? Look at the things out the levels of the things I was killing. Uh all mode may and free enemies levels are way below max level. Do we actually have a confirmed max level in this game yet? Is it fifty? Like same as all the rest? I never actually looked that up. Fifty? Yeah, correct. More will get released with um Oh yeah, more more will get released down the line. It always has done. True Vault Hole mode, main free enemies levels are way below max level. Well, honestly, I feel like the problem is maybe came like from leveling's been a bit too easy in this camp. game. Clear them out, killer. We have and to find I Leon. say that in the sense of like, yeah, these are all level 35, 37. But I don't think it's the enemy scaling, to be honest. I, I wouldn't really know if I'd pass the enemy scaling. Because I have seen people go through, I've seen people go through solo and do just simply just story, and they've get here and they've been round about this level. I think just when you go off and do all the other optional stuff as you're going, it's a bit too easy to over level yourself. I mean, I've seen people finish the game at level 35, 37, and here I am at level 40. Bear when in I mind. say I've seen them finish the game, I mean, I've seen them play after they've finished it, like I've not seen the end boss or anything. Like, finish the game, let's look at Mayhem mode, go to a few planets and see what level they are. Bear in mind, I'll ask you now. What level were you, What level was the last question ball on too? Well, that was like level 30 or... Oh, it was, it was 34, 35 for the final boss, the warrior. Mm. Exact same as this. All the the only thing that they haven't took into consideration is how much more content there is to do 
with it being wider areas. So yeah. for leveling, is, leveling hasn't became easier. There's just been a lot more to do to level. Yeah, like, I, 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 that's why I feel like it's maybe come more down to at the moment, though. It's a matter of... I feel like these enemies are at the right level for the area we're in. I feel like we're over-leveled for it. I mean, especially if I go and look at the quest itself. This way it's going to be like, oh, fine, prove me wrong. There you go. The level one's level 36. Like, it's level... Uh, we're level 40. And the enemies were fighting with, like, level 36, 37s. If we were on level for this, we'd have been fine. Like, they would be a challenge. So, I think... The ones under level 40 are playing on easy. Um, no, I seen a guy finish this game at level 37 and he was playing on normal. He just never plays games on easy. Um, oh, hello. Um... Got any challenge oh, stuff in here, by the way? I was just about to check, actually. I see a side quest thing. Oh, good lord. How big is this map? So, um, we have two Crimson Radios, uh, two Death Traps, uh, uh, Dead Cloud Traps, two Hijack Targets, a Legendary Hunt, and uh, Typhon Logs. We have a lot. Are we exploring? Um, New world and all. We can do a bit of exploring. I mean, we've got six hours. The enemy scale up to your level as well. Uh, West. You know, Typhon de Leon was the reason the... I became an Iridian researcher. I got told the they scale up hit. after you finish the game. Yeah. Once you finish the base game, it's in the final boss, all the side quests will then scale to your level. Yeah, I, I got told they only scale after you finish the game. Like, yeah. while in the game, so like right now, since I haven't finished the game yet, they're of a certain level. By the way, uh, Mean Dragon, everything was scaling from level 1. No, it hasn't been that way for me. Like, there's been a lock on the planets to a degree. But Grim and Jesse Bot, as, Je as Jesse Bot, thank you for them host your supports, much appreciated, thank you very much. Uh, you may get things pop up saying about an update for the game. Yeah, I've seen a few things like that, and I'm guessing oh. one of us is just found a legendary hunt. Thank you. Um, but oh, things haven't been scaling for me for since level one, and I do like I've got it on cooperative and everything. Friends only cooperative and all that stuff. Um, Like, where, for example, when we were at... I'm trying to think which planet it was now. I think we were halfway through helping Reese. No, no, no. What's the planet before this one? Hamalot's one? The planet where you go to to help, uh, where you find Hamalot and that? We were in six. In six, that's the one. We got there, finished the stream on there, and then we decided off stream we were going to go back to previous planets to start doing a bit of cleanup um, of like the challenges and that. So we went back and we were like, right, we'll start from Pandora. Went to Pandora and everything was level nine. Just me, this is the, the, the level scaling, exactly the same as the rest. If you do everything in the game, you, you're, you're always going to be over level. Exactly the same as two. Borderlands 2, if you've done all the side quests while going up to the main story, you were hitting level 3940 on the final boss at level 34. <sighs> I know, I've done it a few times. No, like, things haven't been scaling for me. Like when we went back to Pandora. There's, there's the point where you've got to go back to Pandora. Like, at that point, Pandora scaled up. Like, the story triggered it to scale. The thing... Sorry, Chris. Oh. The thing you got to keep in mind... And this is why I'm not really worried too much about any of it right now. Is the games just came out. It's going to have bugs. They've got to figure shit out. 
This is normal, especially for AAA titles. It can't judge a game, especially on its day one launch. I mean, the thing is, like, I'm playing the game and that, and like, honestly, I'm playing it for the fun of playing with a friend. I'm playing it for the story. I'm not really playing it for the fact of it's a looter shooter or anything like that right now, because that comes afterwards for me, and at that point, I'll just wait for all the updates. Right now, I just want to play the story and stuff like that, which is perfectly playable. Which, to be point, if we wanted to challenge, once we finish the game, we'll do Mayhem 3. Like, that's where my challenge is going to be. Even that, even for that, uh, as enemies were our level all the way through? Because you were the, the, the level didn't start like, quickly progressing until oh, that point. Oh, good lord. Um, well, I've entered an interesting area. Hmm. Uh, hmm, hmm. Go into the side quest. Do you want to pick it up? Uh, yeah, sure. Pick up all the side quests. I'm doing them regardless. You found serves. Uh, yeah. Just you. I'm surprised you had a real gun in them. Uh, real gun's actually not equipped right now, but that's a point. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Try not to die. They all died. <laughs> oh, dang, you gotta pick up that fancy cyclone. That thing's got blink tech for boosting in style. Someone found a hijack target. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I did? Oh, I did. I wasn't close enough for it to actually pop on the map. The Iridians were neither gods nor demons. They were simply a people whose abilities... Alright, what, what is this? So, in their curiosity... Be sure to bring that thing on by the catch ride so I can put it in the system. What? Before I go anywhere, you need to come to me now. On me where? You want to see the boost on this thing? Running, 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 run, 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 run. If I can figure out my way out. Aha! Let's uh, need to quickly check something. I want to get hit in the process. Your way towards me if you can. We're gonna die! Oh, don't move then. I can't, I'm being tasered. I'm going as fast as I can. Phantom boy. I can see you. Meow. What the fuck? <laughs> My new boost. Uh, there's a catcher eye just over here, dude. I've got one here. I just can't do it while I'm being attacked. Oi. Excuse me, I need to borrow this to like, save my friend. <laughs> Your buggy's now got a new... well... He's not got a new part. I need to play with this. Digi thrust. Oh ho ho. Dark Milliwan. Coward! No, 
always go to the other side of the console. And years. Get here. Get off. Seem like you have an interesting rocket. Shall we? Thanks for sitting still for me. Much appreciated. Swarm rocket, sweet. Um, so we've got all. Oh, sweet. When did we get the flamethrower? We've got all the weapons for the base car. We're missing one set of tires and one booster. At least do my item. Okay, let's see what else is on the map. Oh. How did we pass the clap trap? Rocket safety people, I can't stress this enough. Those things will crush you. Ah, a volume control knob. A small but very important upgrade. Because who doesn't like to yell sometimes? <laughs> lion! Well, that was probably a psycho reference. I wonder. Stay still real quick. No, he just got the car to ride. Oh, I kind of need, need you in a vehicle. Well, mine got blown up by that tears of crap again. Right, stay still. You wonder if you can phase through me. That's no. Nope. <laughs> still here. You're still a physical object. You don't animate down into di digital. Oh, that'd be so fun though. I know, but sadly no. Just like, whoop, nope. On that side though, I can see another vehicle. Oh, that's not the one. Oh, I thought that's the one you already got. <laughs> On me way. No, there's another one up here. It ticks them off. If you've done it, if you look on where the one I've already got, you'll, you'll see a grayed out box around it. Doing a six hour stream today, Adam. Hey, Lois. Fair enough. Okay. I just see body flying. It's Hyperion shotgun, dude. It's insane. That a shock element. I can put on every other element. <laughs> Stuff just dies. Okay, in-game updated, fix the issue. Fair enough. In all fairness, there was um, a streamer I watched. He encountered a bug with um, Mayhem 3. He put Mayhem 3 mode on. And he was going around one-shotting all the enemies. Like, doing it really easy, simple. He was like, what the fuck's going on? The experience he was getting though, like he killed 10 enemies and got a full level. The loot they were dropping was like all epic. Like, he was getting the rewards of epic free, but the enemies weren't as on Mayhem free. His game then updated and suddenly he was in Mayhem free mode. It's like when you update the difficulty, you've got to kind of like save and quit and go back in. All right, three power lines. So, okay. is, that guy wanted to, he could just abuse that, by the way. Have you he seen didn't. the one punch man Easter egg? No. Is there but I probably have. 
unless, if it's a mission tide, I probably have just haven't recognized it. I'm trying to work at home. It's a puzzle to get it. Well, we'll work it all out afterwards when it all out the scales. Alright, so that one looks like it's active. That one's active. That one's active? No. Oh, wait. They're all active. Do we have to deactivate them then? How are you activating? Got it? Oh yeah, I tried by the way. Grenade jumping has been removed. Like, they full on took grenade jumping out. Hmm. Go away, you blasting dog. Just to show how overpowered I am. <laughs> oh, dude, I want it. Yes! Looking forward to the timer base. Then you wheels. That's my boost. <laughs> Wait, have we got new tires and new boost? Is this could be all the final parts, mate? Ready? <laughs> it's an AOE. Beautiful. <laughs> like, like one of our characters said, beautiful. Right there. <laughs> Right here. Boom, 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 boom. That thing will drop shock oh, 41. So let's have a look. So no, we're still missing some tyres. We already had them tyres, apparently. Hmm. We're missing a set of tyres. And that's it. We, one more tyres, then we've got everything for that vehicle. How far are the other ones? The Technica... One set of wheels and two uh, back bits. Oh, that's why I haven't checked out. You got the toxic thing, didn't you? Yeah. For the cyclone, armor, a boost, and a gun. So the cyclone's a while off. Uh, skill point. Here we go. Let's test this out. <laughs> He did, did, did. One of the boosts, by the way. I don't. Uh, back in I can't which, we would have to go. You know the area where you say I abandoned you. Yeah. That's where the last boost is for the cyclone, because it was a flame boost. Ooh. So we, there's an area we have to go back to once we finish the game, and that's get. I that's where I see the cyclone. That's what the flame boost, and that's why. Uh, that's why I was like, I want that, I want that. And while chasing it, they blew me up. <laughs> I was like, well, fuck. Because, like I said, it was a flame boost. It left a flame trail behind it, and I was following behind it. You can guess what happened. <laughs> you got boom. Right. So, wow, dude. You know, I said there was a lot to do on the map. We've done most of it. Two radios, a claptrap, and three typhon logs, and we're done. <laughs> well. well. I'm going to see what's over here. Nothing over here. Eat my dust. Do you know how deadly this is? If they're behind me, they get toxic. And if they're in front of me, they get sliced. <laughs> I love my truck. So there is too much nothing this way, so I'm going to head up there. That looks important. 
By the way, if you want to follow the quest right now, that's a side quest that's coming on. 